Singapore and the United Kingdom have concluded talks and reached an agreement in principle on their digital trade deal. Now, this was announced during a meeting with, between Singapore's Minister in Charge of Trade Relations, S. Iswaran, and UK Secretary of State for International Trade, Anne-Marie Trevelyan, in uh, London. And the digital economy agreement will facilitate seamless end-to-end -end digital trade, enable trusted cross-border data flows, as well as build a secure digital environment for companies and consumers in both countries. Under the agreement, both sides will support electronic payments and paperless trading, as well as electronic commerce and other digitally enabled activities like data analytics and AI. And Singapore and the UK have also agreed to ensure access and minimize risks to submarine cable systems and associated facilities. The deal will also help ensure the, the source codes and cryptography used by companies are protected to build trust in their digital markets. Well, for more on this, we are joined by Natalie Black. She is the UK Trade Commissioner for Asia Pacific. Natalie, thanks for joining us this evening. Now, this is the first digitally focused trade agreement ever signed by a European nation. And we want to know what makes Singapore the UK's top choice for a digital trade agreement. Well, firstly, thank you so much for the opportunity to join you today. This really is an exciting announcement. Um, we're delighted to have uh, this new digital trade agreement with Singapore, particularly because it is an incredible launch pad for the region. Uh, it's a tech-savvy nation, which is at the heart of a digital economy expected to be worth $1 trillion uh, by 2030. And the UK is very keen to cooperate with Singapore in this space, and particularly British British businesses are very keen to be in Singapore and be in the region. Just this week, Revolut, one of the UK's well-known unicorns, secured its banking license in Singapore. And we're looking to see a lot more follow them. All right. And in terms of the details, how would the deal update the rules of digital trade? Well, that's a great question. And today we're announcing the world's most comprehensive digital trade deal so far. And as you say, we're the first European country to sign this kind of agreement. Um, it will have a range of benefits, but in particular, it's about updating the ways that we do trade around the world um, to ensure that we meet the challenges and the opportunities of the digital economy. But in particular, this agreement will make it's easier for all businesses, SMEs, multinationals, startups to do business in Singapore and in the UK. It will help cut costs by cutting red tape and it will build on trust and certainty in a partnership that is very important to the UK. Right, you mentioned challenges there and cybersecurity also having a focus in this agreement. How exactly would the deal protect uh, individuals and businesses from attacks? So what's different about this deal is that as well as a, a traditional trade element, um, which your viewers would recognize, there are also a number of partnership agreements which will focus on specific areas where we want to take practical action together. And one of those is cybersecurity. Uh, both the UK and Singapore is committed to a free and open internet. And the agreement today sets that out and provides opportunities for us to collaborate in the future. Uh, we have a strong track record of UK cybersecurity companies in Singapore, particularly uh, Dark Trace and Cyber Owl. And so this framework will deepen that cooperation. All right, deepening cooperation. Now, the UK is Singapore's largest services trading partner in Europe, and both sides clearly enjoy strong economic ties. Uh, what other deals are in the pipeline? Well, I think the important um, point to make today is that the digital economy partnership is one thing. Now what we have to do is put it into action. We are just getting started. So this is not just about the bilateral relationship. It's also about how we cooperate together in the region. Uh, you'll be aware that the UK is applying to join the comprehensive and progressive trans-Pacific partnership. And that's an area that we'll be working together with Singapore over the coming year. Right, stronger trade ties between UK and Singapore. Thank you, Natalie Black, UK Trade Commissioner for Asia Pacific.